And we are live. Good morning, everybody. It's your favorite truck driver, ex truck driver in the whole wide world. It's Bitcoin Ben here for the daily. What the block is going on in cryptocurrencies? Well, my friends, just about everything. Just, uh, oh, here's. Uh, here's, here's uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you sent me a text. It's like, hey, where's the links? And I'm like, damn it, I know I sent them this morning. Yeah, I, I, they showed up at 610. Yep. But I went in there and they, they weren't in there when I first opened up my, my personal email. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They're it's good. <laughs> it's Joe Biden fucking with us. Yeah, did you know that he took the train across that bridge? Oh, at least four or five times. Yeah, he he, he uh yeah, he shared that one with humanity. There's another they, whopper. Someone should remind him that that bridge didn't have a train. <laughs> Yeah, that's the truth. You know, when I landed on the moon in 1949, <laughs> at, what, at what point do they literally go, oh, Jesus, we did, can we get somebody in here that it that actually knows what year it is, and uh, that lives in some type of reality. Oh, that reminds me. I am going to bring you some of this. Oh my! Yep, this is actually made by. Um, uh, Jonah out uh, at at uh, Crypto World. Okay. Oh, that's Jonas. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh my God! You. If I would have had this when I was younger, oh, I'd, oh, it'd be dangerous. This is. I've had a lot of whiskey in my time, believe it or not. This is literally, it's it's the smoothest I've ever had. Okay. No idea how he does it or, or but you know how some whiskey has that kind of <laughs> to it? Yeah. This, this is like, almost like a honey whiskey, where it's real smooth and it doesn't sure. give you that hit. Yeah. Yeah, that always oh, good stuff. It's okay. dangerous. Okay. So this, uh, this will be on our fishing trip. All right. All right. <laughs> so All what's good. been up, your brother? Hmm? What's that? I said, what? Hey, Patrick, what been up with you? L let's turn that up a little bit. 1-800-MIRACLE-EAR? Yeah, no doubt. We got, we got the HVAC system running back here. and It, it, sounds, like, it sounds like they're, they're using a, a generator uh, in order to run it. It's, it's a little loud, so. Although I will admit, it's just back there with fans. Yeah, Man. if we get to that point, I'm going into an ice tank. Yeah. You, you, you are the only person I know who will sweat in a snowstorm. Yeah. I, yeah. I. Yes, it's that Irish in you or something. 
I'm not quite sure what it is, but I, my wife refers to me as her heavy Irish sweater. So, and she's and, right. You know, like I said, you, you'll sweat in the middle of a snowstorm with Correct. no shirt on. Correct. God, I walk not in there season. Oh, no, definitely not attractive. Yeah. Especially yeah. for a guy. Right. Uh, so I want to run a few things past year. Sure. Right. Hong Kong asset manager VS VSFG and value partners apply for spot. Bitcoin ETF with Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission. Now, the difference between that one and, and the ones we have here in America is they are going to allow in-kind resolution. Which means if you buy it, you can request that they send you the actual Bitcoin um, when when you sell or when you exit the ETF. Do you think, because I mean, this is Hong Kong. I'm assuming there's a lot of money in Hong Kong. And apparently, just the announcement from like last week or whatever, according to insiders at the funds, that they've had more interest in this since announcing it last week or the week before than anything they've ever launched before. So, what do you think this is going to do to the price of Bitcoin? Because they're literally saying the volumes could be approximately what we had here in the U.S. Oh, it, yeah, it's, it's going to go up. <laughs> there's, there's no question about that. Yeah. I, I, what was I reading uh, yesterday? This was funny. When we had the dip, some knuckleheads were saying that the reason for the dip was the outpouring of investment in Bitcoin into ETFs. I, why would somebody get rid of the real thing in order to get a plastic version of it? Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah no, it was manipulation, folks. It was manipulation. Right. It's like having a hot wife yeah. leaving her for a blow up doll. Yeah. Yeah. Not the same thing. You're yeah. not gonna get the same action that you were getting. <laughs> now she might complain less. But, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Nowadays, not to squirrel off, but to squirrel off. Have you seen some of the sex dolls out there? No. Oh, I had a friend send me. It's it's like a it looks like a real woman. It's it's weird. It's yeah. I know the Japanese have been yes. investing a lot of time, but they're they're a creepy bunch anyway. They always have they been. Um, and when it comes to that portion of their life, yeah, Freud would just have a free field day with them. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're 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 a mess. So anyway, Asians are odd odd people. 
Well, I, 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 I would say the Japanese are far weirder. Just oh, yeah. Because. Yeah. And, 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 and a lot of that has to do with the social pressures of conforming and compliance. Um, that's always been part of um, their society is you don't create any waves. Um, you don't do anything that's out of line with acceptable behavior. And if you do, you're punished for it. And so is your family. So, um, yeah, there's there's not a lot of individuality that, that takes place there. There's a of a lot of neuroses that develop because of it. And every once in a while, somebody over there snaps and they snap loudly. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and, and really, you can't blame them. Because I mean, think about it. You're Asian men are not known for well endowment. Right. That's why there's not much Asian porn. You you'll net um you'll never find a um, a Ron Jeremy Lee. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I, John yeah. Holmes, right? Know, he, yeah. Oh, well, you know, you, you get two inches, and I'm going to make it hurt, whether you like it or not. That's right. She said, "Give me eight inches and make it hurt." So I did her four times and slapped her. Yeah. <laughs> Smaller, uh, smaller the penis, the more the anger. <laughs> that's why. That's why they follow Confucius. <laughs> oh, wait, is that the Chinese? Yeah, that's the Chinese. Yes, oh, uh, Shintoism. In China. What the Shintoism hell? and Buddhism is, uh, yeah. The faith yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. So Hong Kong is a big deal in your opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did they they do a lot to set the room temperature. Um and, Agreed. and Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. yeah. Yeah. All right. Here up next. Breaking. That means pay attention. London's stock exchange to launch Bitcoin and Ethereum trading. Major plans underway to turn the UK into the ultimate crypto hub. Now, London, for those of you who don't remember, I, they uh, after they took us off of the gold standard, London and the UK launched the original uh, uh, currency exchanges, like back in the 70s where you trade dollars for euro. Well, euros actually didn't exist. I think it was... A, Pound or something. It was a pound, sterling pound. Yeah. Yep. And and that friggin' market is huge. That's a currency market. I think they call it forex. Forex. Yep. And so UK and London. That's what made London like the financial hub of Europe. You know, basically, London is is New York in the 60s and 70s and 80s. Now, New York, because of their stupid laws and all the regulations, they're losing a lot of capital. And, well, that's what happens when you sue the business people in your, in your community. <laughs> they tend to leave. And so 
what I've heard from um, Caleb and Brown, one of their agents lives in London, right? And he said that London is all Bitcoin. Like all of the major players are, are lining up and setting up for this um, London uh, stock exchange, you know, Bitcoin thing. That includes like freaking Dubai is involved somehow. I don't remember exactly how it's involved. They're launching that. I'm thinking like two weeks or something. Now the one over in Hong Kong, I, I think that one launches in early May. So right after the happening, this is this is reaching a point where it's at some point it's just gonna go straight up because we're gonna run out of s- s- supply. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. And then I mean the ETFs become even more um attractive uh, gain more value micro strategy stock case oh my for- god <laughs> and why you're not buying that right now i don't know if you're not it, buying it you better think about it yeah it, it's it's i mean my I do know, by the way i do not hold any micro strategy stock <laughs> Look at Patrick trying to pump his bags. No, no, oh, yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm. I'm all in on the real McCoy, but yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, but I, yeah. honestly, honestly, that is a great hedge, um, and I will be going there. I don't know when, but I will be going there. He's he's a genius. He's oh, yeah. He's yeah. literally selling junk shares, basically, and um, and he's leveraging with loans, and, and his interest rate is like 0.65 on like a, a six-year loan or something. Yep. And yep. It's it's unreal and. Now, there are Litecoin. Did you hear about how, um, how basically the rumblings from inside SEC, they're going to approve a Litecoin uh, uh, futures and a Litecoin spot probably before the end of the year. And hollow the light coin. Well, they are also taking another swipe. SEC is taking another swipe at um, at XRP. Yeah, yeah. I heard that also. Boy, Red Bull does give you wings. Mm. That's good stuff. It's all I know is this, that cryptos and, and, and the Bitcoin, right? I'm up in Nashville right now at our Nashville club. Yesterday, we went to a, a chamber of, um, chamber of commerce event here in Nashville. And there were a ton of people there. I'd say probably 400, 450 people there. And I had on, you know, my usual, you know, Bitcoin Ben shirt, and I had my Bitcoin Ben hat on. And everyone was like walking up 
like, oh, did you must be Bitcoin Ben? And I said, no, I'm I'm his billboard. <laughs> Excuse me. Everyone there was like. So what do you what do you do with you know Bitcoin? You have a club now? Is there a club here? Is there a club in Nashville? And and I'm like, yeah, you know, we we joined the Chamber of Commerce for having some meetups. We're doing this. We're doing it. Everyone was interested. Everyone, especially the smart entrepreneurs there, because this is Chamber of Commerce. And I'm telling you, folks, they they went through some charts. The Chamber of Commerce actually put out a survey to all of their members. What's your number one worry for 2024? Everyone said it, inflation. I didn't. Um, it was so lopsided. It was like everyone said inflation, and then a few people said, ah, we need some more employees. But inflation was was on everybody's mind. And I'm I'm actually sitting there as you know, Bitcoin Ben, and I'm like, ooh, uh, I know the answer. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, what movie is that off of? Um, uh, or no show. Um, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, Mr. Kana, Mr. Kana. Don't, what was that show where he was a teacher and like John? Oh, 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 welcome back, Connor. Yes, Mr. Kana, Mr. Kana. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, that was his name. <laughs> Welcome back. God, what a good one. Although John Travolta is a tool, that 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 was a hilarious show. That Vinny Barbarino. Vinny yes. Barbarino. Vinny Barbarino. Ah, great show. So all of these people and i they had experts up on a stage you know talking about inflation and how uh <coughs> how one guy who owns a chain of restaurants here in the area he had plans on launching four Oh, excuse me, four more restaurants this year. Well, January 1 rolls around, and he scrapped them all. He said, nope, I cannot focus on growth. I just got to focus on keeping the restaurants I have alive. Because inflation is is eating these guys. Have you seen the price of chocolate? Have you heard that? One ton of chocolate is now worth more than one ton of copper. Jesus. It's $10,000 a ton. It's That's insane. It's jumped up like $6,000 a ton in the last month and a half. And Hershey's is, is, Hershey's is like a Snickers bar. You'll be able to get a bar of gold. He prefer than a damn Snickers bar soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is getting ridiculous. I, and uh, I was watching, uh, that was Bloomberg or something. And they had a chocolate expert, which I didn't know those even existed. 
but he said chocolate is the first commodity that leads the way. He was like, we there's so much chocolate sold out there that it's it leads the way. Right? So he's like, okay, chocolate is skyrocketing. He said, next will be sugar, then flour, and then corn. Yeah. He said, and once we hit corn, we're done. He said, because if corn hits, I don't remember the number, it was like 18 or 19 dollars a bushel or something like that. He said, once we hit that, you good luck getting bread. You know, good luck getting anything. You because you they'll they'll have to send out food money to everybody. For what so? For what? I mean, because the supply won't be there. Right. It's does that help? <laughs> that just helps the inflation. Right. It doesn't help the production. No, not at all. Not at all. And you know, you you have this knucklehead who's again, you know, every bit of our lives is affected by the price of fuel. And he has done everything to drive down domestic oil production that he possibly can. That's gasoline and that's diesel. And without diesel, farm equipment doesn't run. <laughs> and, and semis, semis don't get anywhere. Um, they're not dropping off goods to grocery stores. They're not moving raw products to production facilities, the whole chain is screwed. Yep. So, yep, I mean, look at this. If they mess with coffee, it's game over for me. I'll be on the streets. Torches and pitchforks in hand, yeah. I'm with you, brother, I'm with you. It's, and then we have the bridge collapse. This, I, I want, have you watched like that thing hit it? Yeah. All? yeah. I, um, last night on a video, they had like transportation experts and, and had ship captains. All right. Um, and this morning on my far, on the Farmer Dave report, Right, he um, uh, he has he has a friend who works the river in Missouri. And everyone calls him Goat. All right, so they had Goat on because he he literally drives the uh, ship that like pushes the, uh, uh, what do you call them, the barges, right? And he asked his opinion, like, when you looked at that, what do you see? And he said, well, number one, he said, I knew something was fishy when the black smoke just starts billowing out like they were full throttle. He was like, you don't get black smoke like that unless you got it full throttle. He was like, it didn't just like come out. He goes, it shot out of the top of, of, of the exhaust. He was like, you had a power outage. Then you had another power outage. I, no, you had a power outage, then black smoke, then another power outage. And he said, and you could tell that 
how it was going. They waited until it was perfectly lined up and somebody hit the gas and went right at that bridge. He was like, trust me, those things do not turn that damn fast unless you hit the gas and you got it all the way. And according to GOAT, he's like, look, I'm not saying it was terrorism or on purpose. He said, but it sure looks like somebody was aiming for that. He said, these things don't turn on a dime. All right. He's like, somebody had to, to make that happen. Because if it just would have had a power failure and then they had power come back on, he's like, you just would have floated. You know, you would have kept floating right by it and you, you would have been fine. But when they had a power outage and then whenever the power came back on, and that black smoke was like up. He was like, no, somebody swung that right at it. So you saw it. What did like? What do you think about it? I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I saw it happen. I thought it was odd. Rumor has it that this is not the first time that that ship has had a problem. I think there were a couple of others identified. Um, there's not enough there for me to go, yeah, this was, this was intentional. Um, I, I can't make that statement. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it, Plus, people don't understand how much this is going to screw the country. And not just us, Canada also. Because oh, yeah. uh, that bridge was the in and out of the port. So, 35,000 35, cars a day. Yep. And I think they said approximately seven by seven hundred trucks a day, which I mean that sounds reasonable. But now there's a lot of cargo that's trapped in that port, and apparently America gets twenty five percent of its coal through that port. And Canada gets, I don't remember what, but Canada gets a lot of coal also through that port. And that doesn't include, um, I think it's 30% of the automotive parts or something like that. Like a, just a ton of shipping through there. And... And, and when asked how long till you think we'll have something going, they're talking years. Yeah, like, wait, we're not going to, are we going to hook up like some barges or something? Because now tell me if this is correct. Are we changing? Are we moving to the server? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, all right, everyone, hang on, let me switch this. Number one, word from the sponsor. Are you buying and selling cryptos on the same laptop that you're using to browse the internet, read your email, and visit social media sites? If so, you're exposing your cryptos to theft. Whenever you're online, you're at risk of getting hacked and having your identity stolen. How would you feel if someone stole all of your cryptos? 
What would that do to your finances? Guard your cryptos with a safe and secure laptop from Calix Solutions. Each laptop is set up just for you and your cryptos, and then we walk you through exactly how it works. Don't risk the security of your cryptos. Order a crypto laptop from Calix Solutions now to secure your crypto future. Learn more at calixsolutions.io. And we're back. Okay, uh, we are going to jump over to the private server. And I'm actually going to let Patrick go because I know he, he's pretty busy. Uh, and we will be doing uh, our Calyx Solutions cyber stuff here and about. And, and that's at 11 o'clock, right, Patrick? 11 Central, yeah. Yep. Uh, so that's about an hour and a half away. So I'm actually going to let Patrick go uh, and him and I will hook back up. Um, Patrick, for those interested in a laptop, Liberty or crypto, and interested in watching our cyber stuff show, let them know what they need to do. Um, you have to have a computer first uh, from yep. us. And in order to do that, if you don't have one, you can contact us at 702-845-8276 or visit our website, calixsolutions.io. And there's a link there to either the crypto laptop or the Liberty laptop. If you have one, you would go to the portal, sign in, and it's cyber, uh, Calix Cyber Suites. You would sign up for either the um, helpline or you would sign up for uh, cyber chat or cyber stuff. Um, you'll get access to the videos in both instances. Awesome. All right, brother. I will see you in about an hour, an hour and a half. Sounds good. Bye, everyone. Love, love you, bro. Love you. Bye. All right, guys and gals, we are now going to jump to the private server because we're going to be talking some woo and some, oh, what the hell happened to the bridge? <laughs> and we are going to be listening to some Cliff High and his opinions on what happened with the bridge. So... Everyone join me on the private server and also tonight on the private server, we have the three hour woo woo show. Mm -hmm. We will be continuing our education on Atlas Shrugged, finding out why all of the entrepreneurs are leaving America. All right, be right back. We're switching over to the private server. Be right back, folks. Hold, please. 